Oh, there you are. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you feeling happy today? I really hope you are feeling super duper. I love that word, super duper. When a person feels super duper, it means they are on top of the world. They are feeling very good. Here we are then on Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday. For those who don't know what this is, my name is Duncan. I live in England. I talk about the English language here on YouTube. I've been doing this for ever such a long time. I've been doing this for almost 14 years. I know it sounds unbelievable. A lot of people don't believe me, but I have. I've been here teaching English since 2006. I've been doing live streams for four years. It's true. I'm not joking. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's live stream. Yes, I am doing some extra live streams during July for a couple of reasons. <laughs> First of all, I like doing it, to be honest. I really like being with you live. It's much better. It feels more spontaneous. It feels more real. It feels more immediate. So I do like being here with you live and of course it gives you a chance to chat to me as well so not only am I talking to you but you are also talking to me as well so it's lovely to be here on Tuesday you may have noticed already the weather is not great today I will be honest with you the weather is not particularly good today however I am going to do what I always do I always try to make the best of a situation even when things are not good even when things are not going well I always try to make the best of a situation be it good or bad oh the live chat is already very busy and another thing I've noticed today we have quite a few new viewers so please can you make our new viewers feel comfortable in the live chat say hello to them and make them feel very welcome that would be lovely so i'm in the garden did you see what i did just i've just picked one of the apples from the tree so there it is one of the apples this is a very unusual looking apple <laughs> i don't know what's happened to this apple but it seems to have it's, it looks like something else, to be honest. It looks like something very, maybe rude. Am I right or wrong? Maybe wrong. Quite likely wrong, to be honest. Now, these apples are quite small. They're not big apples, I will be honest with you. And <laughs> if you try to eat these, <laughs> you might not enjoy the experience because they are quite sour. They are bitter. They are sour apples. So these are not the best apples in the world. However, this year, I don't know what's happened. My apple tree has gone crazy. There are so many apples on the apple tree. So there is one of the apples from my tree. I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> not now. Just in case. You, you never know. There might be a big worm inside there sleeping. And I don't think it's a good idea to start eating insects live on YouTube. To be honest, I don't think it's a very good idea at all. Hello. <laughs> there is a bird in the tree right next to me. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's all right. And the sound that bird is making is something we call an alarm. So when a bird gets scared or anxious, it will make a certain sound. And we call that an alarm. So that bird at the moment is alarming. It is telling all the other birds that there is a danger nearby. And <laughs> I have a feeling that danger might be me. They seem to think that I am some sort of danger but I'm not 
I'm not. If you know me well, you will know that I'm not a danger. I am, of course, someone who likes to come on YouTube teaching English, talking about the English language, and that is what I'm doing today. You are the apple of my eye. <laughs> That's a good expression. There are many expressions and idioms that you can use, actually, connected with apple. So you can be the apple of someone's eye. That is, you are the focus of their affection. You are the focus of a person's love and interest romantically. Ooh, someone is the apple of your eye. Very nice. We could also say that sometimes in a family, the apple does not fall very far from the tree, which means that the children, maybe the son or daughter, have a very similar characteristic or they are very similar to the parents or one of the parents. So sometimes we might say, I can see in that family that the apple has not fallen very far from the tree. <laughs> it means that the children are very similar to the adults, and that's why we say it. Hello to the live chat. Yes, I am here again. We have a lot of new people watching, so I do feel quite excited about that. I'm not going to lie. I feel very excited to see so many people here today. For the first time so thank you very much for joining me once more we are going to look at some things today i thought it would be fun to look at some words also i will show you how i was able to cut half of my eyebrow off two days ago so at the weekend i actually managed to cut one of my eyebrows off very successfully in fact almost too successfully I'm just making some little adjustments here on my live chat please excuse me whilst I do that very nice hello also to Dolly Dolly Dang Mosen we have Vitas we have Paolo Luis Mendez is here again as well so it's nice to see all of you here Congratulations to Mosen, you were first on today's live chat. Sadly, I have no applause to give you. However, if you would like this apple, <laughs> this very small, bitter, hard apple that came off my tree in the garden, you can have this if you want. Is that good? Is that okay? Okay then. <laughs> Thank you very much for your company yesterday. I did have a good two hours yesterday. I can't believe how fast the time went yesterday. Did you notice how quickly time passed yesterday? It was incredible. Hello, oh, hello, Grace Chin. Hi, Grace Chin. Nice to see you here as well on the live stream today. I don't know why I am having difficulty seeing my live stream. I hope you can actually see the live stream OK where you are, because sometimes it keeps stopping and then starting, starting again, which is rather annoying, <laughs> to say the least. I'm not sure if it has anything to do with my Apple device. I'm not sure. Does it? I don't know. Maybe it will work better now, perhaps. Oh, that's better. I think it's working better now. Hello also to Lehi Li Hai Huang. Hello to you as well. Wow, so many people here again. Yes, I am doing some extra live streams, and that's what this is, to be honest. I'm doing an extra live stream. In fact, this week, you have two extra live streams, Monday and Tuesday, and... You have another extra live stream on Thursday. Normally, I'm with you. I'm with you on Wednesday, also Sunday, and also Friday. So Sunday, Wednesday, Friday is when 
I am normally with you here on YouTube hello Ibrahim the best teacher in the world Ibrahim Shire nice to see you here as well Khaled hello Khaled nice to see you here on the live chat it is good to see you here today Rafa is here Malia is here nice to see you here as well if it's your first time please let me know <laughs> racer says I am here and I can already hear the lawnmower yes one of my neighbors at the moment is cutting their grass fortunately they are not very nearby so I don't think it's going to disturb me very much I think I will be all right Pedro Belmont is here hello Pedro you weren't here yesterday we missed you yesterday hello also Connell Alessandra Nishtar is here as well if it is your first time please let me know hello also Oh, Nishta, can you say hello to my sister? My sister's name is Diksha. Diksha Gulati. I hope I pronounced that right. Today, my sister is also watching. So, yes, hello to Diksha Gulati. I hope you are enjoying this. Something unusual. Something a little bit strange, maybe. Who knows is it my imagination or is it a little dark out here I think it seems very dark I hope you can see me clearly hello to Calbi can you please say hello to my country hello to Trengalek Trengalek city and also a big hello to Calbi as well very nice to see you here I've been seeing your t-shirt since 2017 can I just tell you a brief history of this t-shirt I bought this t-shirt in 2008 when I lived in another place in Wolverhampton and there was a shop and they sold all sorts of t-shirts many different designs and there was one t-shirt hanging up and it was a small one and this is it this is the one because most people don't buy small clothing so that was the last t-shirt that was hanging in the shop and it was this one because most people are too large or too big to wear a small t-shirt but this one is so the size of this t-shirt is small and as you know I have a very slim body so sometimes I can wear small clothing <laughs> sometimes I can actually wear children's clothing can you believe it <laughs> if I get if I get a large size in children's clothing sometimes it will actually fit me <laughs> I'm not joking so this t-shirt I bought around I think it was around 12 years ago 12 years so I've had this this t-shirt for a very long time Palmyra says your apples are not ripe that might be a very good point yes maybe it is too early to pick the apples <laughs> the other thing about these apples is sometimes they fall off the tree and if you're not careful as you are walking around the garden you actually slide on the apples you almost fall over and break your neck to be honest hello to Chin Nguyen hello to you from Vietnam hello Vietnam hello to you as well Mohammed Ahmed says thank you very much mr. Duncan I watched the movie 12 monkeys it is an amazing film guess what last night I sat down with mr. Steve and we also watched this movie as well so yesterday we watched 12 monkeys to be honest with you I've seen it before so I've actually seen this movie before so it is one that I've watched in the past but to be honest with you 
it is such a good movie I, I, I couldn't resist watching it again so Mr Steve had never seen this movie before so last night it was the first time that Steve saw this movie I'm not sure if he enjoyed it to be honest I, I, I got a strange feeling I had a, a strange feeling that Steve did not enjoy the movie I like it I think it's a pretty good movie science fiction so if you like science fiction and if you like movies about time travel then you will like this movie Bruce Willis is in this movie also Brad Pitt as well is in this movie and lots of other people as well Christopher Plummer is in this movie an actor from many many years ago now he's elderly but he's still acting so Christopher Plummer a very well-known British actor is also in this movie if you want to watch it I highly recommend it maybe you have some spare time maybe you have a little bit of time on your hands so perhaps you can watch this if you want it is a little bit violent as well so this might not be for children so it's not a cartoon it's not a comedy show for children <laughs> so that might be a, a good thing to bear in mind 12 monkeys we watched it last night I liked it but I'm not sure <laughs> I'm not sure if mr. Steve liked it to be honest so thank you Mohammed Ahmed saying I watched it last night yes we watched it yesterday as well and it is a good mo movie and of course I am a big fan of Bruce Willis to be honest I do like Bruce Willis quite a lot <laughs> Constantine I'm so happy to be able to share another afternoon with you thank you Constantine that's very right that's very right I hope you can see me clearly today I'm always worried you see I'm always concerned about the quality of this so I hope you can see me okay and you can hear me all right as well Yasir hello Yasir thank you for joining me today <clears throat> hello to hot TikTok TV that's not easy to say by the way hot TikTok TV have you ever used TikTok I've never used it to be honest I don't have much interest in TikTok for two reasons one I think it's for young people to be honest it's for the teenagers with with their their rap songs and their computer games and their lady lady gargas and all of that you see so it's not really it's not really for <laughs> grown-ups like me it's okay there, there was an, a very annoying fly on my screen excuse me get off my screen you naughty thing so yes TikTok. I've never used it oh the other reason why I don't use it is because the videos that you make are only 15 seconds long so that's no good to me as you know I always like to make very long videos my live streams are always long I like to spend my time with you hello also to Sylvia I haven't written here for a long time but I always watch your live stream Sylvia Sylvia Danice I, I recognize your name I recognize your name Sylvia I'm glad to see that you are here still and I'm also glad that you've decided to say hello on the live chat again <laughs> Sylvia says mr. Duncan your live stream was very funny especially the moment when mr. Steve didn't come on I know have you seen Sunday's live stream what was happening it was a very strange live stream some very weird moments of time hello to Lek Leet or Lek Light hello to you nice to see you here oh Ifran Ifran says if a child in the family 
is very similar to one of their parents you might say that that child is a chip off the old block that's good I like that one as well that is a good one hello Integra Integra Vinitsa nice to see you here as well where are you by the way because I'm very nosy you may have noticed sometimes I can be very nosy very inquisitive so sometimes I like to find out where you are in the world Ricardo is here oh I have set up the HD quality and you look very charming even more well one of the wonderful things about doing this especially nowadays these amazing times that we live in with technology you can actually watch me live and you can have very high quality as well so yes I I always feel I feel proud that I can do that to be honest <laughs> Hello, Lamin. Oh, Lamin Silar says, hello, it's my first time. It is a pleasure to be here. Lamin, can I say hello, Lamin? And welcome to my little English family. All around the world, there are people watching at the moment. You can listen, you can read the captions as well. So there are captions even now on the live stream. And if you want to have the captions, all you have to do is press C on your keyboard. That's all you have to do. And then you will have live captions. By the way, I received some messages yesterday saying, Mr. Duncan, we watch you on television. And yes, so many TVs nowadays will actually have YouTube built into their televisions. And you can actually watch me on your big screen television so if you are watching me at the moment on your television do I look good do I look nice and clear on your very big screen Ooh, I hope so <laughs> that must have been very scary what I did then will you play the sentence game tomorrow is English addict number 100 I can't believe it so we have English addict tomorrow and we will be having the sentence game tomorrow I will be in the studio I have a feeling I might be in the studio tomorrow but yes that's what we're doing tomorrow we're doing the sentence game we're having a little celebration as well because tomorrow it is English addict episode 100 I can't believe I've done 100 episodes of English Addict, but I have. I have. Incredible. Hello also to Donna. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Mark K. V Vines. Hello, Mr. Duncan. I need your help. I'm making a video about school. Could you please answer this question? Do you think homework makes students learn better please say hello to my Indonesian students hello Mark K Venice nice to see you here well I always think homework has more than one use so the reason why many teachers will give homework to their students is also to give them the the regimental I suppose what am I what am I trying to say there I suppose it's getting used to having to do work at a certain time or of course doing extra work in your career perhaps so sometimes if you are working if you have a job sometimes you are asked to stay over to stay late or to work extra so I always think <laughs> that homework is a little bit like overtime for school so I don't think it's a bad thing I think homework can be very useful it gives you a little bit of discipline so that's the word I was looking for discipline it allows the student to become disciplined a little bit more 
in the way they do things so if you can if you can spend the day at school learning and then you go home and you do some more homework you do a little bit of extra work at home I think that's very useful I think it's a useful thing and of course you can learn things as well whilst you are doing your homework maybe you have to study a certain subject or maybe you have to write an essay about something so that's what I used to do for my students. I would often give them homework to do. I would often give them something that they had to write down or something that they had to maybe recite as well. Ah. I don't often talk about that, do I? I've just realised. I don't often talk about recitation, but reciting things is a good way of learning new words and grammar as well so I hope that helps you I know that was a very long answer but yes I think I think homework has more than one purpose I think it is a very good way of getting the students to become disciplined in themselves because they are doing something extra they are doing something maybe in their home environment which might seem very strange at first but I think it is a very good way of giving the students a sense of discipline self-discipline because sometimes in life as we all know sometimes in life you have to do things you don't want to do we all have to do things we don't want to do so I think it's a very good way of getting that feeling of discipline it is encouraging the students to have self-discipline. I think so. Hello, Flower. Hello. Also, hello, Ali. Nice to see you here as well. Sujin, you look good on television. Thank you very much. Maybe I shouldn't get too close to the camera. You see, it might become too scary. If you are watching on the big screen maybe flower says it is always better not to complain because we will look on the bright side and but sometimes you can't handle it that is true life is one of those things you can't avoid and sometimes things go well and sometimes things go badly Benjaloon hello Benjaloon Eunice how old is the tree behind you the tree behind me do you mean that tree the apple tree I think the apple tree is quite old I think it may be maybe 40 maybe 50 50 years old so this house that I I'm living in now this house was built in when was it 1968 this this house was actually built so so most of this has been here since 1968 a very long time so over 50 years <laughs> oh thank you mark that is perfect my students will be glad to see you cheers you are welcome i hope my answer to your question was was good I hope it was suitable for you and helpful hello Mark Watson hello Mark nice to see you here as well you look so sweet thank you very much I try my best <laughs> I always believe to stay healthy you need to have a good night's sleep I think sleep is one of the most important things in your life whenever I have a good sleep if I sleep well then I always feel better the next day I always feel much better <laughs> thank you to Twan Nguyen hello Mr Duncan the word cajole on Monday that you mentioned reminds me of your English lesson called compliments Oh, I see. Yes, to cajole. If you cajole, it means you say nice things to encourage someone to do something. Cajole. 
you humour them. You say something to make them feel more willing to do something. Cajole. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Mark Watson says, have you ever walked naked on the beach? <laughs> Can you imagine me doing that? Can you imagine me walking naked on the beach? What do you mean, yes? There are children making a noise behind you. Yes, I think one of my neighbours, I think they have some, some of their relations staying with them, including some young children. I think so. You're right. <laughs> I'm loving your messages, by the way. Did you hear the story yesterday? Did you hear the sad story of my eyebrow? Well, I'm going to show you how I did it. For those who didn't see me yesterday, I accidentally shaved half of my eyebrow off. And the reason why I did it is because of this, you see. I have one of these little machines. It is very good for trimming your hair. But you can also use it for trimming your eyebrows as well as you get older can i just share this with you now as you get older your eyebrows become very long and thick so there is a warning you have this still to come if you are young you have this later on in your life you will realize that your eyebrows get thicker and longer the older you get so I like to keep my eyebrows short I don't like them to get too long <laughs> sometimes they they get so long they poke you in the eye that's how long they can get you can actually comb them if you have no hair on your head perhaps you can use your eyebrows maybe you can grow your eyebrows really long and then comb them over the back of your head like that comb your eyebrows anyway a couple of days ago I was trimming my eyebrows unfortunately I forgot to put this on the machine so if you use it like this it will cut very close it will almost take all the hair off so you have to use this you see so you put this on the machine like this to make sure <laughs> that you don't cut too much off however I was in a hurry so what I did I grabbed this I grabbed it and did it straight away without looking and I realized pretty quickly that I had just shaved half of my eyebrow off you might not be able to see it but yes you might be able to see there there is half of my eyebrow is actually missing and it's because of this machine this clipper this electric clipper you see so I should have put this on instead so this stops the machine from taking too much hair off <laughs> and I didn't do that because I was in a hurry I was I was rushing so much I almost removed one of my eyebrows so this is the, the machine a very useful machine but you have to be careful how you use it or else you might lose your eyebrows or something even more valuable <laughs> you have to be very careful where you use this on your body Ooh. That was clever. It just fell off the table. Sorry about that. Hello to Philippe. Do you ever use gonna and wanna instead of going to or want to? To be honest, I don't like this usage. Well, it depends where you are, to be honest. As I said yesterday, accents. 
and ways of speaking vary from place to place so as you move around the country as you go around England or or as you travel around the UK you might hear certain words used in different ways colloquialisms is what we call them so when we say something is a colloquialism it means a certain way of speaking or a certain word that is used in one particular area colloquialism I love that word <laughs> Belarusia hello Belarusia nice to see you here today we missed you yesterday by the way my brother promised me he will make a barbecue but then he cancelled because oh okay then because his father-in-law committed suicide awful really awful that's terrible news I'm sorry to hear that well I hope I can cheer you up after hearing such awful news thank you Belarusia <laughs> Mark can I say Mark you seem to have being nude on your mind a little bit too much what is the difference between nude and naked they are basically the same thing just different ways of describing it a person who has no clothes on is naked a person who has nothing on they are not wearing any clothes at all is nude nude naked starkers <laughs> they are wearing their birthday suit if a person is wearing their birthday suit it means they are nu naked nude they have no clothes on fortunately that's not going to happen here that is not going to happen here some very interesting questions coming through would you like to see a couple of words okay then let's have a look at two words as we approach what time is it now 20 minutes away from three o'clock I've been here for 40 minutes I hope you are enjoying today's live stream something a little different today I'm in the garden general chit chat we can have a little chat we can learn some new words perhaps and hopefully have a smile as well so here are two words two English words now they do look very similar however they have very different meanings so the words are lateral and collateral lateral and collateral lateral collateral lateral collateral so they look very similar but they do have different meanings for example first of all we will look at lateral there we go and there it is I hope you can see it clearly on your screen the word lateral normally relates to the side either of at towards or from the side or sides so it can refer to one side of something or both sides lateral in anatomy to be situated on one side or other of the body or organ so we might describe something as being lateral when it is situated on maybe one side or the other side of the body or maybe part of your body something that's inside your body such as an organ to think in an inventive way as in lateral thinking so if you think in a very unusual way maybe you do something in a very unusual way we say lateral thinking your thinking is very unusual it is very strange different inventive innovative 
we can describe that as lateral thinking so the word is lateral hello <laughs> the cows are all staring at me at the moment I'm standing here very close to the fence in my garden hello are you okay what are you doing hello you can't see this but right next to me now there are some cows and they are just looking at me they're staring at me they're wondering what I'm doing <laughs> it's okay I'm just doing some YouTube it's all right don't panic it's okay I would love to come over and say hello but I can't unfortunately because I'm busy here you see I'm on YouTube at the moment the other word that I want to show you is I hope you can see it collateral collateral so the word collateral refers to a sum of money paid as insurance for a debt that can be kept if the payments cease so you might describe collateral as something that is put down as insurance so maybe you borrow some money a house might be used as collateral for a loan if you stop paying the debt then you lose your home collateral as an adjective collateral means an additional or secondary event there might be collateral damage after a nat natural disaster something accompanying a major event but not as serious can be described as collateral damage so we can use the word collateral if you are maybe borrowing some money from the bank quite often if you borrow a large amount of money you will normally need something that will be used as collateral collateral so you are making sure that you will pay that money back and if you don't the people will take your house or maybe the money that you've given them as collateral collateral quite often if you borrow money maybe you want to buy a house maybe you want to borrow some money from the bank to buy a house or maybe you need to borrow some extra money you need quite often you will need collateral collateral so there it is interesting word two words that look similar but actually they have very different meanings so many things to show you today I can't begin to tell you how many things I have to show you oh Mary thank you very much Mary thinking outside of the box maybe that is also a way of expressing something <laughs> I don't know what is happening to my to my camera it's doing some very strange things at the moment Oh, Mika Road is here. Hello, Mika. Nice to see you here today as well. Hello. Hello. What's what's wrong? Do you want to have some love? Oh. I wish I could show you the the cow. Shall I show you the cow? I will try to. The cow is looking very sad. There is the cow. Hello what's wrong what's the matter hello what's the matter she loves you yes she oh you love him kiss little kiss you lovely lovely cow you are so lovely yes you are
the cows often come over during the day if they ever see me in the garden they will often <laughs> the cows will often come over to say hello very strange very strange indeed that's better the problem is now I've moved my camera it's a little strange it, it, let me just adjust my camera please <laughs> I knew this was a mistake I knew it was a mistake anyway you've seen the cow now and he's still staring at me what's what's the matter you are making me feel so guilty standing there staring at me like that I feel very guilty <laughs> yes the cow is looking at me it can't take its eyes off me I think so <laughs> very interesting what's the matter oh don't, don't don't keep staring at me like that you make me feel very 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 guilty I almost feel as if I have to go over there now and give give the cow a little stroke or a little hug I think so <laughs> Mary says is the cow ready for the barbecue oh. well fortunately cows normally are, are kept alive so normally they are used for producing milk you see so cows always have a very good life because quite often they are not slaughtered however if you are a male if you are a bull then it's not so good hello <laughs> this cow is fascinated by me aren't you you are so lovely You know, I might just stop doing this today. I might just show you the cow because the cow is so lovely. What's wrong with... Oh, I see. I know what the problem is. You have an itch. Are you scratching yourself on my fence? I think so. What a very strange moment. <laughs> I did mention yesterday contractions. Sometimes people will use contractions when they want to shorten maybe a sentence like do not do not becomes don't will not becomes won't cannot becomes can't so people do use contractions quite often and as I mentioned yesterday as I mentioned yesterday it is important to remember that you never use contractions if you are writing formal letters as I said yesterday if you are applying for a job you never never use contractions it does not look good <laughs> Ari Ari Hassan Mr Duncan have you ever read a book called how now brown cow that sounds like something you would say if you are improving your pronunciation. How now, brown cow? The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. <laughs> Talking of plains, I think there is a plain going over my house now. <laughs> Ex Daro. I think the cow likes you and you are very attractive to it. I'm not sure if I need the attention of a cow. I'm not sure. Gemini. Oh, hello, Gemini. Nice to see you here. I wonder if I should use Brit. Brit. When I say British. I suppose it depends how you're using it because sometimes people use it when they are being I don't know sarcastic or maybe hateful towards towards British people oh I went on holiday 
for two weeks and there were lots of Brits staying at the hotel so that might be something that you are complaining about you see you are complaining about it Aya says could you please pronounce I'm out of here I'm out of here I'm out of here do you have a sport that you enjoy mark I don't play any sport I know you might not believe it because I look so strong and vigorous <laughs> there is a plane over my head as well says Mikel or Michael so yes people say Brit it is an abbreviation of British for example if you are from Australia if you are from Australia someone might call you an Aussie Aussie so an Australian person a person of Australian nationality might be described as an Aussie Aussie there of course of course there are some insulting words you can use as well I remember at school there was one word that people used to use to describe French people and I always felt offended by it because of course I am part French you see so I always felt a little bit annoyed by that <laughs> racer says the cow wants to have a look at your eyebrow you know what next weekend I might actually shave both of my eyebrows off and then just draw them on my face like like ladies do maybe it will look better maybe it will be be more attractive on my face who knows Valeria did you watch 12 monkeys yes I watched it last night with mr. Steve there it is again I will show you I watched it last night mr. Steve I'm, I don't think mr. Steve likes this movie I don't think he enjoyed it to be honest I did I've seen this before it's such a good movie I could watch this many many times I like films that are very deep I like films that have a very deep meaning or maybe sometimes they deal with very difficult subjects or unusual subjects and this particular film deals with time travel so I like this movie a lot I do suggest that you watch it if you haven't seen it it's a good movie it's a little bit violent in places but a very interesting movie I love the concept I love the idea of traveling through time I, I think it's quite an interesting concept an interesting idea even though it isn't possible it is not possible to travel through time I'm afraid Sandra Gonzalez is here again hello Sandra nice to see you here thanks for joining me Osman says sorry I have lost the connection mr. Duncan do you have a Facebook page yes I do I do have a Facebook page if you are watching this now on your computer there is a helicopter coming over can you hear the helicopter you are right yes I do have a Facebook page the address is underneath this video so if you look under the video underneath the video there is a description underneath and under there 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 is the playlist so you can see all of the videos there is a list of videos under this actual box right now the thing you are looking at underneath the description it also has my faith Facebook page address as well so if you want to follow me on Facebook you are more than welcome to do so the address is under this video and all of my playlists are under this video 
definitely so yes you can find my Facebook page underneath this video <laughs> oh Belarusia also likes movies where people travel in time such as the butterfly effect a very famous movie very well-known movie the butterfly effect yes I think that came out maybe 2005 so now it is quite an old film but yes the butterfly effect which of course refers to the damage that you can do if you travel in time so maybe you travel back into the past but then you do something that changes history so they say that even if you if you travel back in time to the to the distant past and perhaps you you step on a butterfly you you kill a butterfly by accident that butterfly not being alive or dying might change everything and they call it the butterfly effect the changes that can occur if you do something in the past that changes the future the butterfly effect very interesting concept and that's one of the reasons why I love time travel movies such as back to the future there were three movies with back to the future great Scott great Scott duck duck you made a time machine out of a DeLorean duck <laughs> did you know that Rick and Morty is actually based on Marty McFly and also the doctor the doc it's true <laughs> Rick and Morty is actually based on the doc and Marty McFly so instead of Rick and Morty it is doc and Marty you see did you know that well now you do <laughs> mark says what does being fit and healthy mean to you as I always say and this is something I've talked about before being healthy is not just about eating the right food it is not just about physical health it's also about your mental health as well keeping positive trying not to think too much about negative things having control over your thoughts the way you see things the way you view other people the way you react to other people so I always think health is not just about strength it is not just about being fit it's also about having the right attitude as well the right attitude in life the right way of thinking so these two things work together we often say healthy body healthy mind or healthy mind and healthy body so I think they are both important but sometimes it is very easy to forget about this about your your brain your mind that might be the reason why more and more people nowadays suffer from stress and anxiety it has become a very big problem in these modern times Irina hello Irina do you play computer games I don't play computer games uh, the only computer game that I've heard of well actually I've heard of quite a few of them Fortnite I don't know what it is I've, I've heard of it that's all I know Fortnite. <laughs> I have no idea what the game is or, or what you do but I know it's called Fortnite. there was another one dark skies is that is that right dark skies <laughs> that's all I know I don't know what the game is about or how you play it all I know is the name there was a little bird hopping around me hello hello you seem very tame you don't seem too worried about me standing here isn't that lovely 
if you if you stay in the garden for a long time you will find that the animals will start coming around you they will start gathering around you Sandra says oh hello Lewis I am retired I am not in good shape because I like eating during quarantine yes this has been a big problem actually this is something that we have been discussing as well apparently whilst people are in lockdown they haven't been working or going outside but because because people get bored very easily they are eating they are eating food so as they stay at home as they remain in isolation as they stay away from other people they are eating food and becoming more and more unhealthy I think so thank you very much for your answer concerning Brits the title appeared in a film with Uma Thurman and also Tim Roth which was very low budget but cute and funny Uma Thurman you don't see Uma Thurman very often anymore she was very big in the late 90s and early 2000s but you don't see much of Uma Thurman anymore Uma Thurman it's a great name by the way Mr Duncan what books and British and American comedy series or talk shows do you recommend for learning natural English thank you Abdul that is an interesting question as I said yesterday there are so many things so many things that are available to watch nowadays and of course because we are we are, we've become more concerned with people who are maybe they have listening problems or sight problems so quite often you will find there is there are subtitles and captions and even dis descriptions as well so you might watch some movies and they actually have the description of what is happening on the screen for those who have visual problems or visual impairments but yes captions if you can watch captions on a movie or a TV show then I, I highly recommend it if you want to see a very funny program about people learning English I suggest you watch mind your language mind your language is a very funny TV show it is a British show and you might find some of that show on YouTube but don't tell anyone because you're not supposed to do it mind your language as you know I am a very big fan of that TV show it was made many years ago when I was still a child and I like it very much mind your language a British comedy show Belarusia says I like the moment in back to the future when Marty's mother says she doesn't like the way Marty's girlfriend behaves and then in the past the mother actually did the same things so the mother might be a little bit of a hypocrite because she's criticizing someone for doing bad things but when she was young she did the same things as well she was also a girl who liked to have fun maybe she smoked or dated lots of boys you see so yes that's very interesting I remember that sequence I remember Marty's mother saying you shouldn't hang around with that girl I don't like that girl she, she does all sorts of things that I don't agree with and then when when Marty goes back in time he finds out that his mother did the same things the same bad things when she was young yes so Marty McFly's Marty McFly's mother is a hypocrite I think so Nassa or Nessa what is the capital of England the capital city is London 
because, well, it's the largest place in England, the largest population. There are lots of other cities in England, of course. We have Birmingham. Birmingham is another big city. Many people live there. Manchester is another well-known city. Over the years, there has been a very strong rivalry between Birmingham and Manchester. So they, they both want to be something called the second city. So we always think of London being the first city, the big city. However, over the years, Birmingham and Manchester have always been competing with each other to be the, the second city, which to me seems a bit odd. It seems like it seems like a lot of worry over nothing, I think so. Partridge is here. Hello, Partridge. Can I say a big special to Partridge? Nice to see you here as well. No, Mr. Duncan, I think Marty's mother was actually worse than Marty's girlfriend. So Marty's girlfriend was not as bad as Marty's mother when she was a teenager. OK, I see. David asks, what is the difference between bushed and exhausted? Well, exhausted is formal. Bushed is informal. So if you are exhausted, you are tired out. You have no energy left. Maybe you've been working all day, doing all sorts of things. You've had a very busy day. You are exhausted. However, you can also say you are bushed. Bushed. Whew. I have had a very busy day at work. I am bushed. Bushed. So it is an informal way of saying tired, exhausted. You have no energy left. Gemini says lovely much Wenlock is one of the famous cities here. Well, much Wenlock is where I live, but it's not a city. It is a small town. It is a very small place where I live. A very small town. There are only around 5,000 people living here. Not many people. Because this is a small place, a small town. Yes, if you feel exhausted, you feel tired, you feel worn out, you feel bushed, you are so tired. Oh. I need to go to bed. I feel so tired. I'm worn out. I'm exhausted. Thank you very much for your company. By the way, something else I mentioned. As you know, I love food very much. Yesterday, I talked very briefly about ladyfingers. And it would appear that a lot of you have started eating these ladyfingers. They are a very interesting type of snack. Would you like to have a look at one of my ladyfingers? OK. Here it comes. One of my ladyfingers. So there is a ladyfinger. I had a few people asking, Mr. Duncan, what is a ladyfinger? So there it is. So that is what we call a ladyfinger. It is a piece of sponge. It is sponge. And on the top, there is lots of sugar. So maybe you can see there is actually sugar on top of the ladyfingers. There we go. Can you see the sugar? So these are quite delicious, quite sweet. Very nice. You can also put these in certain types of dessert. 
such as jelly or tiramisu, tiramisu, which I don't like. <laughs> so this is a lady finger. Would you like to see me take a bite from my lady finger? OK. Mm. As you can hear, they're very crunchy. Mm. Lady finger. Mm. Delicious. I am really enjoying this because today I've eaten no food. I've had no breakfast. I'm so naughty. Osman says, Mr. Duncan, I really love your accent. It is more understandable for me. Good. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoy my lessons and my accent as much as I am enjoying this ladyfinger. <laughs> mm. Mm. Ari Hassan says, I think there is a vegetable called ladyfinger as well. I think so. Now, the other day I said that it is a type of carrot. So I think it is actually a type of carrot. I might be wrong. But I do know that this is definitely a lady finger. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Wow, very nice. <laughs> How much does this packet of ladyfingers cost? They are not very expensive. I think this packet of ladyfingers was about one pound, maybe one pound fifty. So they're quite cheap. They're not. They're not expensive to buy. And the thing is, I, I love eating them. If I have one, quite often I have to have another one as well. So I do like eating. <laughs> I like eating ladyfingers. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, doesn't it? That sounds so wrong. Partridge, Mr Duncan, do you know how I knew about your channel for the first time? OK, then the answer is... First, I searched on Google to find who is the best teacher on YouTube. And the search result gave the best English teacher as you. Really? <laughs> That's incredible. I'm not sure if that is true now. I think if you put that into Google now, I think other things would come up. Not me. I think now I've... Over the years, I, I've slipped down the list. I think I'm near the bottom now. <laughs> I think so. Hello, Sergio. Sergio Letao has sent a donation on the Super Chat. Thank you very much. That is very kind of you. As you know, everything I do, I do for free. I do for free. It costs you nothing. So all of my work, I give for free it is all done free of charge it does not cost you anything so yes i always appreciate your kind donations they always go towards keeping this going as well i spend a lot of my free time well most of my time now <laughs> most of my life is devoted to doing this hmm so nice. Racer. Oh, hello, Racer. I have a feeling that you like la lady fingers as well. I bought a packet with 50 lady fingers for less than one euro. I'm jealous. 50? 50 lady fingers in one packet. Just one euro. Wow. Can you send some to me? Can I have some lady fingers? They'd only cost one euro. 
I like that. Ma Madava. Hello, Madava. Mr. Duncan, do you believe in astrology? Astrology? No, I don't. I don't follow star signs. I don't follow the zodiac. So quite often every day in the newspapers, people will print. They will write horoscopes and they believe that all of the stars in the sky relate to certain characters certain star signs for example i'm born in august so my birthday is coming very soon <laughs> and i am leo so my star sign is leo however i don't actually believe in star signs i don't believe in astrology i don't believe that if you if you look in the sky all of your destiny is being planned by the stars so no I don't I don't follow any of that I don't follow astrology however I do like astronomy which is a very different thing altogether so astrology is the study of the zodiac and all of the star signs astronomy is the study of the cosmos the stars and the planets space congratulations mr duncan thank you una karina what are you congratulating me for i wonder <laughs> what have i done have i done something well or bad nessar asks have you ever been to india i've never been to india it is a part of the world I've never been to. I have a friend who goes to India twice a year. He goes there for, for breaks. So he does go to India quite often. So I do have a friend who does. Although I have a feeling he hasn't been for a while because of lockdown and the fact that there were very few aeroplanes taking off from the airports. So over the past four months, travel from the UK has been very restricted. So you, you, you were unable to travel around, especially around the world, because there, there were no planes to get on. Mary says, Mr. Duncan, you are making me hungry. Guess what? <laughs> I'm making myself hungry. I feel I feel hungry as well. Belarusia has a spinach tart in the oven. I like the sound of that. Spinach tart. I like spinach very much. I do like it. Very good for you, apparently. Beatriz says, Last year when I was in Bath, which is, of course, in England, they said to me that a city must have a cathedral yes you're right quite often a city will have a cathedral however over the years there have been a lot of changes in those rules <laughs> so these days there are some cities in the uk that have no cathedral a good example is wolverhampton so wolverhampton used to be a town but now it is a city even though it has no actual cathedral so yes it, it used to be true but nowadays it is not so true not so true not as true as it used to be to be honest osman mr duncan what does tatar mean is it slang it is a nice way, a fun way of saying goodbye. So when I say to ta for now, don't worry, I'm not going yet. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Helicopter. Thank you. Thank you for dropping in. Thank you. Tata is a fun way. It is a nice way of saying goodbye. 
a fun way a happy way so when you wave you can say ta-ta ta-ta for now that's what I say at the end of all my lessons so yes that's why we use it we use it in certain parts of the UK certain parts of England quite often in the north of England you might hear people say ta-ta ta-ta Partridge, please can you say my name with the echo? Well, I can't do it today because I'm not in the studio. If I was in the studio, I could do it. But unfortunately, I can't at the moment. Amro, can you give us some different words that describe hunger? So when you feel hungry, it means you, you need food. Perhaps you haven't eaten for a long time. If you've had no food for many hours perhaps you will feel hungry your stomach is empty you have no food in your stomach to eat so you can say that you are hungry you can say that you are famished oh I really need something to eat I am famished famished I'm starving I'm starving I feel so hungry I need something to eat I am starving we sometimes say that your your stomach thinks that your throat has been cut <laughs> because no food is going into it that's not a very nice expression I don't like that one <laughs> but yes you are hungry you are famished you are starving oh, my stomach is empty I need something to eat I'm so hungry I could eat a horse <laughs> I'm so hungry I could eat a horse <laughs> but please don't please don't eat a horse Apparently they give you very terrible indigestion. You get very bad indigestion afterwards. So never eat a horse. Oh, I forgot that word, starving. The word starving is often used in an exaggerated way. Because when we think of a person who is starving, quite often we think of a person who has no food around them maybe a person who can't find food maybe they are losing weight maybe they are becoming ill because they have no food to eat so we often exaggerate we sometimes use hyperbole <laughs> we exaggerate the fact that we feel like we need some food i need some food i'm starving but in fact to be honest in reality you are not starving at all you are just a little bit hungry so maybe you didn't have your breakfast so at the moment I feel hungry but I suppose I, I wouldn't say that I'm starving because starving is when you have no food anywhere maybe the area in which you live has no food maybe there there there, there is no place to go to get food starving we often use that in an exaggerated way exaggerated connell says i am peckish that's a good one yes if you are hungry if you want something to eat to satisfy your desire for food you might say yes i'm I feel peckish I feel peckish I need something to eat I feel like I want to eat something I feel hungry I feel peckish I might have a snack Prashant hello Prashant nice to see you here as well on the live chat today I will be with you for around another 
maybe half an hour I will be with you for another half an hour mm. Sandra says mr. Duncan did you wear your new mask I did last weekend I think I mentioned this yesterday did I talk about this yesterday I think I did yesterday I was talking about last weekend last weekend I went to town to do some shopping and I did wear my face mask because now you have to so this week there will be some new laws coming into effect where if you go into a shop or a supermarket you have to put a mask on your face so I did it last week when I went into town I actually put my face mask on and I went into the shops I felt very pleased with myself because I was setting such a good example to everyone else by wearing my mask here comes another aeroplane <laughs> I don't know why there are so many aeroplanes flying over my house today Mr Duncan today I speak oh I spoke to myself in front of the mirror and I feel the words which I spoke to myself and watch the body language I think it is going to help me a lot thank you so much Abid Abid Nazir yes as I said yesterday looking at yourself in the mirror maybe recording your voice listening to the way you speak English watching your actions so maybe you can look in the mirror you can look at your reflection and you can speak English say some words look at the way your your mouth is moving listen to yourself so part of speaking is gaining confidence you have to gain confidence and the only way you can do that is by doing it many times so yes definitely definitely I would say one of the best ways to do it is to look in the mirror watch yourself as you speak listen to your voice you can record your voice on your mobile phone hello hello I'm going to the shops today to buy some butter and some bread and then tonight I'm going to have a lovely feast yes. just listen to your own voice listen to your own voice could you please do a live stream about slang it's a good idea I have actually made some lessons about slang as well I have done a couple of lessons about slang <laughs> after half an hour mr. Duncan please go and have a cup of tea with your dear friend mr. Steve yes I am going to make a cup of tea for Steve to be honest with you I'm a, bit, I'm a bit thirsty to be honest I feel quite thirsty prescient how much interest is important in learning things as I mentioned yesterday learning anything is easier if you are interested in the subject so there are many things that I'm interested in and those are the things that I enjoy learning about so I, I think if you if you want to choose a subject maybe something to help you practice your English maybe something to help your English improve maybe you could choose a subject that you are interested in choose something that you enjoy talking about or maybe things that you enjoy listening to so yes anything so ask yourself what am I interested in what are my interests in life what are the things that I enjoy reading about what are the things that I enjoy learning about my favorite subjects and then you can use those things to help your English improve so that's what I think anyway mm. Una Karina says yes you have to wash your hands properly and often and remember don't touch your face don't touch your face especially your mouth your nose and your eyes 
and also don't touch other people's faces <laughs> it is it is a habit of mine I don't know why whenever I walk in the town center I, I always go up to people and touch their faces I don't know why I always like touching people's faces I said oh hello there nice to meet you very pleased to meet you I must touch your face what <laughs> Amro how beautiful and calm nature is I hope you will continue with your wonderful content I will in fact I am with you tomorrow tomorrow we have our English addict live stream and it is episode 100 tomorrow episode 100 of English addict can you believe it incredible Amro is learning an American accent for me as an Egyptian or not I don't think it really matters to be honest many people who learn English learn English in their own way so sometimes sometimes you should not put pressure on yourself to sound like an American or to sound like a British person what you need to sound like is you so you find your own way of speaking English and this is one of the problems this is one of the mistakes that many people make when they start learning English they feel as if they have to learn a certain type of accent but the accent isn't really important to be honest with you it isn't it isn't there are many people who have accents and they teach English so you don't have to sound like an American you don't have to sound like a British person you don't have to sound like Mr Duncan to be honest as long as other people can understand what you're saying if you are speaking English and other people can understand you that is what you want that is what you want 30 minutes does 30 minutes mean half an hour yes it does in fact now we have around 20 minutes around 20 minutes left wow prashant how many places have you been to when you say places do you mean countries around the world I've been to a few places a few countries I've been to Turkey I've actually traveled to Turkey twice I've been there twice I've been to Greece some beautiful islands some Greek islands I've been to Greece twice very nice place highly recommended especially Greek food oh my goodness Greek food very nice very nice where else have I been I've been to Madeira a Portuguese island called Madeira I've been to France in fact I went to France last year I went to France and also I went to Portugal last year as well and both of those holidays were free they didn't cost anything because Mr Steve's company gave Steve two prizes for working so hard can you believe it so because Steve is so good at his job because Steve is like Superman in his job they gave him not one they gave him two free holidays two free trips so last year we went to Paris we had a lovely time in Paris and also we went to Portugal as well I went I went to, to have a dance with Ronaldo it's true <laughs> 
do you know any words in Portuguese I will be honest with you I will be honest with you no I didn't really get to practice any Portuguese last year because everyone spoke to me in English I would have liked to have done that I think it would have been a good idea to learn a little bit of Portuguese but I didn't because everyone spoke English you see <laughs> it's very hard when, when you are a native English speaker and when you travel abroad everyone uses English is that a good thing or a bad thing I'm not sure I think it's a good thing because at least then we can all communicate with each other we can communicate with each other so yeah yeah yes I, I was very lucky last year I had two free holidays last year didn't cost me anything how is that possible Partap hello Partap have you got mad you mean me when you say mad do you mean angry have you got angry me I don't normally get angry I don't get angry very often so I'm not a person who loses their temper Mr. Steve Mr. Steve loses his temper quite a lot especially when he's using the computer Steve is always losing his temper when he's using the computer I've also been to Malaysia as well Malaysia <gasps> another country with some of the most delicious food Mr Duncan you went to China yes I did I went to China I lived in China I worked in China for many years teaching English as a second language so yes I did I did go to China and I lived there Partap what is the name of the British Prime Minister the Prime Minister of England well the British Prime Minister is called Boris Johnson oh hello oh well oh. oh. we must get this done we must get get brexit done get brexit done Boris Johnson he is the Prime Minister he is the man who is in charge of the UK So I hope that answers your question Mr Duncan I've read the news about lockdown in the UK and I didn't understand when will it end August or October no one really knows we are all so confused we don't really understand any of the rules anymore to be honest with you because sometimes we are told one thing but then we are told something else that is the opposite of the other thing that we were told already so sometimes the messages that we are getting are very confusing so on August the 1st the 1st of August many people now will go back to work on that date so if you can work maybe safely in your office or shop or your business you can actually go back to work so on the 1st of August many people will go back to their jobs but not everyone so some people will still work from home to be honest with you it is very confusing no one knows what the situation is now do I go to work do I stay at home do I stay in lockdown do I isolate myself can I go to the shops can I go to a restaurant can I go to the cinema what can I do do I have to stay at home can I go back to the office so many people now are, are a little bit confused with the situation they are quite confused
have you ever celebrated Oktoberfest <laughs> we don't celebrate Oktoberfest here no we don't have Oktoberfest I think you are thinking of another country Oktoberfest where people drink lots of beer and sing happy songs but we know we don't have Oktoberfest here <clears throat> a fly has just gone into my throat <coughs> a fly when I was talking then I felt a fly go into my mouth I think now it's attacking me from the inside Mr Duncan I am leaving see you later partridge <coughs> how old are you Mr Duncan <laughs> why are people so interested in my age I wonder why I am probably probably older than you I think so Mm. Mm. sometimes oh apparently in Brazil you have Oktoberfest we don't have Oktoberfest here <laughs> definitely not I, I know in certain countries certain parts of Europe they have Oktoberfest Germany I believe they have Oktoberfest where people get together and they sing songs and they dance in their Lederhosen actually it might be uh, it might actually be Switzerland <laughs> they like to dance around have you ever have you ever seen Lederhosen Lederhosen it's a type of clothing consisting of shorts and also a little bib that goes at the front and they have Oktoberfest so yeah I didn't know that Brazil had Oktoberfest I am learning some new things today <laughs> I think <laughs> I've just swallowed a fly by the way I've swallowed a fly <laughs> it went straight into my mouth and into the back of my throat mm. Latif says I think you are 45 <gasps> oh I wish I wish I was 45 I really do to be so young so youthful I would give anything to be 45 again that would be very nice very nice indeed here in Germany the people have Oktoberfest thank you Wendell yes I know during Oktoberfest in Germany people will sing songs and drink beer and do a lot of dancing as well in their in their Lederhosen <laughs> Lederhosen I love that name I love that word Lederhosen are you wearing your Lederhosen today I wonder mm -mm -mm. Amro I have a simple question oh thank you very much there are people who speak fast and there are people who speak slowly is this true as a learner can learn to speak quickly well my answer to that is why would you want to speak quickly why if you speak too quickly people won't be able to understand what you're saying so I think sometimes people speak too quickly maybe they're they are in a hurry or maybe they think that speaking quickly is better but sometimes speaking fast can actually be well the wrong thing to do if you speak too quickly then maybe people can't understand what you're saying so I'm often accused people say Mr Duncan do you slow your speech so people can understand you but I, I, I don't this is how I normally speak so I don't speak quickly I don't speak slowly I speak at 
a moderate speed so I think my speech is actually moderate it is moderate mr. Duncan says Valentina I wish I was I wish I were ah, that is one of those things that people often argue about I wish I was in oh I wish I was in Greece there's a good place I wish I was in Greece I wish I were in Greece which do you think is correct some people say was some people say were I wish I were I wish I were I wish I was some people say were and some people say was some people have fights over these things they do they, they actually go into the street and they start having fights <laughs> The greatest speakers always speak slowly. Well, I suppose if you want to be understood, if you want to get your message across clearly, if you want people to understand exactly what you are saying and and also get the meaning of what you are saying, I always think it's best not to speak too quickly, not to speak too fast. Don't speak too quickly. Don't speak too fast or else people won't understand what you're saying. And then you'll cause a lot of confusion I think so Mohammed Ahmed Mr Duncan I am over the moon with your YouTube live stream thank you very much you are very kind thank you very much for watching me thank you I always appreciate it when you watch my live streams because you are also giving up your time as well you are giving your time to me <laughs> Unic Arena have you ever seen the comedy program called Miranda I am not a fan <laughs> that's all I'm saying I am not a fan does uh, music and watching movies help improve pronunciation not so much I never think that you you don't really you don't learn pronunciation or accents from movies what you actually do you you create your own way of speaking quite often if you have an accent in your own language quite often you will find sometimes <clears throat> your original accent will come through it will actually come through into your English accent so I, I don't think it is important a lot of people worry too much about their accent when in fact you have nothing to worry about it's more important to know words it's more important to understand the meaning of words it is more important to be able to listen to what people are saying accents and the way of speaking I think is not as important <laughs> I know I know you might disagree you will say mr. Duncan that's not important what what are you talking about you crazy man but I think so I think sometimes people worry too much they worry too much about accent I want to sound like an American I want to sound like a, a British man but you don't have to you don't have to sound like anyone all you have to do is sound like you your individual way of speaking and, and a, lot, a lot of people spend too much time worrying about that they, they worry and worry about how they should speak English If I talk to the mirror, how do I know if my speech is correct? It is not just about being correct, but it's also about getting confident. 
Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear the robin? There's a robin behind me. Hello, Mr. Robin. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, I was just talking to the robin. There is a robin behind me. I think he's gone. <laughs> we were just having a little conversation, <laughs> the robin and myself. I hope not. Accents. <clears throat> it is something that people spend too much time worrying about. As I said before, if people can understand what you're saying that's the most important thing you, you you sometimes it is very easy to become too obsessed with the way you sound i want to sound like an american i want to sound like a british man when in fact all you have to do is sound like yourself learn the words talk to yourself in the mirror listen to the way you speak if you can understand yourself, then your English is clear. Another thing you might want to do as well, another thing you could do is maybe let other people listen to your English as well. Maybe other people. You could share your, your recordings with other people and ask them to listen. You could say, would you like to listen to me speaking English? And then play the recording. Hmm. Four minutes. Four minutes to go. Mr. Duncan, what can you advise for me to learn slang from the English language? Fur show. Hello, fur show. Nice to see you here. Fur show. I would say that slang is something that is used in English, but not all the time. So we don't always. We don't always use slang words. We might use slang sometimes, but not always. So that, that is very different from idioms. Idioms we will often use. You will, we will often hear people say idioms or use idioms in their everyday life. But slang, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> Racer says four minutes. Four minutes. I, 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 I need to go to the toilet. Oh, OK. <laughs> I'm not sure if I needed that information. I don't I don't need that information, to be honest. That's that is too much information. Too much. I am back with you tomorrow. Don't forget. Don't forget. Tomorrow I am with you once again from 2 p.m. UK time. Many people ask, Mr. Duncan, when are you on? 2 p.m. UK time. So that is two o'clock in the afternoon in the UK. That is when I'm on. Mr. Duncan, you are awesome. Thank you, Jalit. Jalit Sidhu. There used to be there used to be a Mr. Sadhu near my house many years ago when I first moved to Wolverhampton. There was a shop very close to my house and he was Mr. Sadhu and he was a very friendly man. Very friendly. Thank you very much for your company. I am going in around about uh, one minute. I only have one minute left. What am I going to do for the next 60 seconds? I can't believe it. How quickly it's gone. Have a good day, afternoon. Have a good tea with Mr. Steve. I will. Thank you very much for your company. Don't forget, back tomorrow. English Addict tomorrow. So it is our, our English lesson tomorrow. Two hours. 
and also tomorrow I am celebrating my 100th episode of English Addict tomorrow afternoon 2 p.m. UK time I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream take care everyone oh that's interesting Valeria I have a group with my friends on whatsapp and we only speak in English and it is a very good way to practice that is a great idea a very good idea yes so you can practice your English with other people you can use whatsapp or maybe you can create your own English group maybe you can talk to each other on Skype whatsapp so there are many ways of communicating with other people who are interested in learning English what a great way to end today's live stream something positive something encouraging for a change because there's too much bad news around not everything in the world is bad there are good things there are positive things to think about as well I hope you have a good day enjoy the rest of your Tuesday I am going now because I'm feeling a little hungry and thirsty I'm going to have a cup of tea and maybe a piece of bread maybe a piece of toast maybe a piece of cheese oh no oh no I can't have cheese because tonight we're having pizza so I can't have any cheese because tonight we are having pizza for our supper I can't wait this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thanks for watching I hope this has been useful I hope you've enjoyed today's live stream from my little garden here in England and of course until the next time we meet together once more you know what's coming next yes you do see you tomorrow 2 p.m. UK time and of course Ta-ta for now.